like a musician or something. She like DJs. <laughs> the other day, I got in my car and my music was just on shuffle and all of a sudden this random demo that I wrote like two years ago just started playing and I was like, what song is this? Where am I? What's going on? And then I realized, oh, it's that song I wrote that time and never put out because it just didn't fit, it wasn't the right, whatever. For whatever reason, it didn't come out. You know, like I wonder what other songs I've written that I've forgotten about because I've, I've written hundreds, if not thousands of songs. And so I went to my handy dandy SoundCloud and started doom scrolling back <laughs> into the archives and was like, wow, you know, I have all these songs that I've written and we've made demos for that have not come out or probably not gonna get officially released because they just don't work with the projects that I'm making or where I'm going sonically and stuff. It's a shame that they're just gonna live in my hard drive forever. Oh, why don't I put them on the internet? Now would also probably be a great time to explain to you guys what is a demo. A demo has many different shapes and forms. It can be anything from a little voice note, lyrics on a page and some chords, to what like what you'll see today, a semi-flushed out production and rough vocals. So today, I wanna start with a song that I actually really love the concept of. It just, I don't know, it fell into this weird place where it was like, it was more more developed than the, the last project that I was working on, but it doesn't fit with the new project. So it's kind of in limbo. If an artist wants it, I would give it to them. If it got put in the sync placement, I would totally do it. But, and if the opportunity presented itself for me to release it properly, Maybe I would, but it definitely needs some, some work. The song we're gonna look at today is called Mad May. And I did this with a great friend of mine. His name is Zeph Park. He is in LA. We did it over Zoom. We met on TikTok. We have, have made like a ridiculous amount of songs over Zoom. This was one of them. And the way this one worked, he, we were working on another song in a session. And he was like, oh, I've got this title and like a little bit of a demo and it just feels like a Mimika kind of title. Can I play it for you? And I was like, obviously, please play it for me. And he played it for me and it was called, I don't remember, I think it was called Late to the Matinee or Matinee something. It had the word Matinee in it and I grabbed onto that and I was like, give me, a, give me two days, I'll be back. And so we set up another session for 48 hours later and I brought him this song. Uh, I had basically rewritten the whole thing with the title and we produced it over Zoom. I sent a couple vocals to him and this is what we came up with. I got a plan for everything Practically down in the second that I breathe every morning Even got my breakdowns on a schedule I keep them quarterly, that's simply how it's gotta be for me to stay on top of things Can't say no cause I can't let down people, I barely know Can't say no cause I couldn't live with letting great things go I couldn't let it go So I blow off my friends, don't answer their texts Don't answer the text 
unfinished pieces and stuff I think it would also be cool to kind of reflect as I've obviously grown and changed as a writer and an artist and kind of think about this freaking fly it's massive it's like this big and it won't As much fun as it is to just show you guys these songs and say, say, cool, we're out of here. I think it would be fun even just for me personally, as I'm growing and changing my sound and my writing style and hopefully getting better. Talk about what I would change now. With Matinee, I really love the first verse. I think it's fun, I think it's cute. The first thing that I know 100% I would completely rewrite is the second verse. It's just too, I don't know, it's a little mundane. It's not as flushed out as I would like it to be. I think it could be a lot smarter in terms of the lyrics and the content. Let's see. Maybe he's alone and busy till 10 50. Yeah, that, that's a no. That's a dud. Musical lyric heaven. Can't say no cause I can't make those people I barely know. Okay, that's the other thing. So the first line of the second verse is i say yes to everything because i can't find a way to say it's too much for me but then the first line of the pre is can't say no because i can't let down people like it's just too much of the same so i would totally rewrite the second verse for sure and then i think the only other thing i would do is maybe maybe in the pre somewhere allude like give a little bit more context so that the matinee thing doesn't feel like it kind of comes out of left field I think that was something, this was 10 months ago that I wrote this. That puts us in September of 2021. I think that I had these really fun concepts that I loved and these titles that I adored. And I just was having some trouble connecting the dots a little bit. Um, and that was something that through writing these songs and getting feedback on them, I learned and people were pointing it out to me like, hey, I know that it, it's super clear in your head and you can see how you get from A to B in your mind, but for other people who are listening to it for the first time, they they don't see, they see A, but they don't see B coming and it's a little bit, a little bit wacky. So make it a little more obvious. Obviously, don't treat your audience like they're dumb, but you need to, you can't expect people to read your mind. And that was really great advice. And I think that it's something that I've totally implemented and I can see how I've improved since this song, which is lovely. I would also 100% add a bridge. I'm a bridge girl or an outro. Like there's gotta be something after the last chorus. It either needs to end with an outro. There's gotta be a super cool bridge. That's my jam. I love the guitar licks in the beginning. If I was to rate this on a scale of one to 10, one being, oh my God, what a mistake. Why did I ever? record this let people see it and 10 being oh my god i should have put this out this would have changed my life i'd probably give it a six i think it's cute i think it's fun i don't think it's life altering i think it needs work it's a six as is a five as is it could be a seven with rewrites and arrangement and all the other stuff. I'm at the point now in my journey also where I'm being much more critical and nothing comes out unless it's a 10 in my mind or a close to a 10, 9.3 and up. I also know myself better and I, like when I wrote this song, I thought this was the best song I had ever written. I was like, wow, it's so smart. It's so fun. 
it says exactly what I want to say and then you take some time away from it and you come back and you see the holes you know it's like when you paint when you paint a room and you do the first coat and you look around and it's a brand new color and you're like wow it looks so good so cool and then you leave it to dry and you come back a couple hours later and you're like oh uh, this needs a couple of extra coats because it's it's a little patchy i feel like that's what happened with this song it's fun to go back through all these songs because it's like looking at me captured in little snapshots throughout the different things I was dealing with in my life. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed listening to Matinee and let me know what you think. If you think I'm being too harsh, if you think I'm being too nice, what would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed and see you next week. Relax.